hope you guys all had a great Christmas. Merry Christmas to you and your family. But today, we're gonna get in some things today as we're gonna be hitting the thrift store. Just kinda wanna walk you guys through the process of hopefully finding some great stuff at the store to resell on eBay. As you can see, we woke up to some sales. And just overall, we've had a lot of luck this December at the thrift store, so we're gonna hit the Salvation Army again in the Value Village, and maybe throw in another um, two or three thrift stores. But um, I'm feeling free today, guys. I got nothing else better to do than take you guys with me on this thrift journey. Let's get it going, and let's hopefully we can surprise ourselves and go make money today. It's not that hard. And a lot of people that I talked about on Christmas today, I was like, hey, what have you been doing to make money? Like, like they don't, my family's trying to understand, like, at the family table, I'm comparing what they do as with living and stuff like that. I'm a college student, I'm like, hey guys, I'm just out here thrifting, reselling. Y'all might think I'm not doing that well, but we're generating sales, we're flipping, and people are continuing to just leave a lot of money in the thrift store. So that gave me optimism, that gives you optimism to go out there and go make some money. With that being said, let's actually go do this thing, and I'll show you guys with me. We got the thrifted items for sale. Go into the post office now. It's time to get going. I'll see you there. Painter, baby, you could be the muse. I'm the reporter, baby, you could be the news. You got a cigarette. And I'm a smoker, we raise a bet Cause you're the joker, chip down You are the chum And I can be the black boy, we can be the two And I can be the boy So guys, the first door paid off pretty well. I spent about $89 in the thrift there, a little about almost 90 bucks. Um, and overall, just a successful day in the first stop. Uh, I'm seeing good things, guys. So usually I come here on Wednesday. Today is currently Thursday, and Wednesday was Christmas. And Wednesday here at the Salvation Army is 50% off. So um, I expected that people were gotten there on Tuesday, but it seemed like they loaded the thrift store up, and I found some great things. Uh, Vineyard Vines is in there, a lot of good stuff. So with that being said, I'm um, going well to just walk you guys through and show you some of the purchases that I found. Um, the first, right off the bat, I found this the Sherpa lined um, Vineyard Vines vest. As you can see, I paid 30 for it. A uh, little up for it, and there's like this little minor scuffs on it. I hope that I can wash it out and get that um, stain kind of removed, but once I get that cleaned up, probably sell it for like 75 to 80 bucks, uh, free shipping as well. Um, but overall, a, a great little pickup for 30, so hopefully make like a $50 profit on that guy. Um, secondly is this North Face High Vent Jacket. North Face is a great brand to sell. Um, scored pretty well on this. Uh, this already has a tag and stuff from someone using it, but um, they, they kept it in great condition and it was a great pickup to find in the thrift. Hopefully software wear anywhere from $70 to $85 after paying $30 for it. So I did pay up for it. Um, a little nerve wracking because there's a lot of this stuff online on eBay, but I know I'm pretty confident this stuff will sell as well um, pretty soon. And then if you guys ever run into any of these, I'm just trying to stock up for the winter, I mean to the summer. Um, these aren't the best to sell in the winter, but these FJ Polos here uh, usually sell pretty fast, anywhere from $18 to $22 um, consistently on eBay. As you can see, the FJ, I paid five for it. So another great little find there. Uh, I love to pick those up anytime I see them. And here's a cool little vest that I found, a great brand that I always recommend you guys picking up. I can't complain here. It's that LL Bean. It's just like this vintage style. Uh, extra large vest as you guys can see the logo there um, I kind of gave it away for me and what was fun about this thrift shop here is that there was two other pickers and thrifters in there and they were just kind of just going back and forth in the aisles with their scanners and stuff like that and um, I saw them on their phones I didn't want to step approach them they kind of look were hard to talk to but um, they left a lot of good stuff and that was super exciting to find some of this stuff right behind them right where they left it off so um, you got to keep looking and 
sometimes they a lot of people don't really know what they're looking for so i want to kind of show you guys what i find north face again a brand that i always love to pick up only ten dollars for this it's a long sleeve i don't I think it's a polar tech um but like usually on a north face on the left or right sleeve they'll see like the the type or model this one doesn't have it but i'm looking to sell this anywhere from 40 to 50 bucks um maybe including free shipping but uh there you go another north face solid solid fine and then lastly here a brand that i've never heard of or even sold before but um, i'll shoot up the comps on this one just so you guys believe me it's called the jordash i believe as you can see zoom in here um this denim jacket in size men's xl i believe it sold for 60 that was the I bought that earlier in the day, so I didn't really remember what it is, but I think it was 60 bucks. Um, paid eight bucks for it, so great find here. Probably the best find of the day so far. But that's kind of what we got into today. We're gonna roll out and go to another thrift up the street here, ship these products up, and then we're gonna keep going, guys. We're making money out here, and it's fun. The day after Christmas, we got money to spend, and we got money to make. So don't go anywhere, let's keep thrifting. All right, so behind us, the post office. Now it's time to go hit the thrift store. So guys, I'm gonna walk you through, we'll hopefully find some more items here for the end of the day. But after this, I usually go home, start listing things, and get ready to make some sales. So time to walk in. I'll show you guys the store, Value Village. Let's go get it. All right, guys, so I came out empty-handed there at the last thrift store of the day. Feeling a little tired, gonna go home and do some things, get some stuff organized. And more importantly, I just wanna say that sometimes um, it's okay if you don't leave one of the thrifts and sometimes I had options in there but I just wasn't feeling too overpay for some of the items and I had this one Mickey uh, 1938 I believe t-shirt um, with the comps on it and it was only about $12 a Disney t-shirt um, selling for $3 so I, I didn't pick it up because it, the comps were not uh, promising and it took a while for that item to sell recently so that's kind of what I went away with but uh, overly, overall I believe the, the thrift store market is still there if some of you guys think that it might be dead or you might think that hey I'm not finding enough just keep searching keep going out there um, that one thrift store up the street that I went to earlier and found all this stuff is paying dividends for me it's making me a lot of money uh, and, and generating a lot of sales just because they seem to have a lot of inventory coming in and out uh, and just keep going guys keep being persistent all right guys, so after making it from the thrift store, I kind of want to walk you through how I just go through, take my pictures, and list all my items for the eBay store. This is the luxury of my home here. It's pretty easy. Um, here is the pile of all my clothes here. So let's clean these guys up real quick. So what I do here is I set them up here. Let's say we take this first uh, Vineyard Vines vest. Basically, all I use is this great little lighting here um, from my window. Um, and just throw it down here. Uh, prep it a little bit, lay it out, and then I'll have um, a measuring tape for to some of the pictures here. And then if I have some like long sleeves, and sometimes the color doesn't match well with the wood, I'll hang it up on this guy here. Or I even have a little nail up there just to hang and just to store and then take some pictures on. And basically, um, that's pretty it. I'll do a little angle shot like this, flip it around. Then I'll open her up. Just get as many angles as possible. Um, what I learned that helped me generate a lot more sales um, this quarter was to be really open with my pictures. Try to take all the angles, use measurements, and more importantly, um, try to minimize the amount of questions someone's going to ask on your listings. If you see a, one of your particular listings is getting a lot of questions, that means you might not have the best details and then your pictures might not be the best. So if you want to increase your sales, definitely take good pictures. Sometimes I use this camera here, it's the G7X, or mostly if I'm just trying to be quick and easy here, um, use my cell phone. What I do for the listing process is I'll look up the exact um, item here. So let me show you guys how I pick and more importantly what I do just to know that I'm listing the right item. All right, so I got the eBay online and then here at the smartphone. Say if you just wanna do it on the luxury of your smartphone, what you're gonna do is you're gonna search right here. Let's say um, Vineyard Vines Sherpa Vest right here. Then I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna hit filters as you guys can see up there. Ah, try that again. I'm gonna hit the filters for you. Um, and then you're going to make sure this is sold. The comps are on. You see what's selling. And then I try to scroll down and see whatever is closest to the item. So this exact item here. You guys can focus in. This Sherpa Deep Pile Oatmeal Vest. Excellent use condition. I'll just hit like this. Then hit sell one like this. And just kind of use as much 
um, description as possible that's already sold because I know that that item has sold with that exact listing. I try to just change the size, change some description, and more importantly, upload my own pictures. And that's all I do, get listed and then sell on eBay, store it, get ready for sale. So that's kind of what my process is once I leave the thrift store, come home. Got these items here that I'm gonna go ahead and thrift, oh, not thrift. I'm gonna go sell, list, and uh, get going. So guys, thank you for tuning in. Again, Peter Roberts here. Thank you, I appreciate you guys. If you not have liked, subscribed yet, go ahead and do that for me, and I'll see you in the next video. Comment with any questions, concerns, I hope this helped. And guys, follow the thrift journey, we're gonna make it happen together. See you now.